To be or not to be? That is the question. Oh, uh, hey there, and welcome back to The Current. I'm your host, Remy Hulan. Today, we will have a chat with our special guest, Alex Sargent, a student who has the inside scoop on UNCW's theater department. So sit back, relax, grab some buttered popcorn, but be careful, for all that glisters is not gold. And let's enjoy the show. This is Margo. I'm here with our special guest. He is the current stage manager of Fight Girl Battle World, Alex Sargent. Hey Alex, thank you for coming out with us and being a part of the show this morning. So to start off, I want you to tell us a little bit about yourself. So with your relation here at UNCW. So what's your grade, major, when you're anticipating graduating? Just give us a little introduction. Hi, um, well, I'm Alex. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a theater major with a concentration mm -hmm. in technology and design. Cool. Um, I'm graduating in December, and so yeah, I've been here for four years. Oh, awesome, mm -hmm. yeah, congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Are you excited to graduate? Uh, a little nervous, a little yeah. nervous, but I got a job lined up, so we're okay. looking good. <laughs> yeah, good for you, I feel like it's bittersweet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially with a good program like this, yeah, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, I'm gonna it's, miss it. Yeah, definitely. hard to let go. All right, so what's the season's, uh, what's this show, what's this year's season's looking like? So what shows are going on? What do you got working? Um, so this semester so far we've had our two main stages. Um, we had our show Kinder Transport already okay. and right now we're in the process of doing uh, Fight Girl Battle World which mm -hmm. ends on Sunday. Oh awesome. Um, and then next semester we are doing uh, Electra by Sophoc Sophocles mm -hmm. and uh, Murder of Crows. Okay, so how's Fight Girl Battle World been going? It's been going good. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of moving parts, so, yeah. um, but it's we're very thankful that all these moving parts are large cast, um, the set, everything's going really well together. So I'm yeah. really happy with the product. What are you the most happy with? You know, um, I'm probably the most happy with uh, how all the tech elements have like gone s uh, gone fairly smoothly and queue calling, even though there's a lot of cues to call, it's uh, it's been going pretty well. Right. And with being the stage director, what are your biggest responsibilities within the show? Um, so my biggest responsibilities are calling the show. So yeah. any light changes, all, any sound any sound changes, um, uh, door movements, because we have uh, spaceship doors that open and close. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, uh, any of that is, is called by me. I'm yeah. also in charge of the actors and the crew and all that. So yeah. oh, that's an awesome responsibility. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of work. How did you get this position? Is this something you, uh. you know, you apply for <laughs> or are you voted? Um, so I'm not usually the stage manager. I'm usually like a lighting person, lighting designer. I'm also like the master electrician of the, of the theater okay. here. Um, but we were in need of a stage manager and I had taken mm. the class um, so I offered myself up and especially because I knew the director and I was, I was I was familiar with her work and stuff so I was right. really comfortable with working with yeah. her. So it's kind of like a volunteer yeah, basis yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely like a, a for the most part uh, our, our productions are volunteer based or uh -huh. class based. Oh awesome, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. And it's going well so far? It's going yeah. well. There is some bumps in the road throughout the rehearsal process and stuff, but it, yeah. nothing that couldn't be handled. So yeah. it was, it was, but it, it's going well now. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So is it just you behind the scenes or are you like a performer or you, do you stay mostly behind or are uh, you on stage at all? I, um, uh, being that I'm a tech and design uh, concentration, I do all, I do behind the scenes stuff like strictly. Uh -huh. um, as a theater major, we are required to take an acting class, so I did okay. do that. Um, learned that it's not for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> definitely not my thing. Right. But um, we, uh, I, I do stay behind the scenes and I focus on lighting. But I have done sound and mm. stage management. And yeah. Stuff like that. So would you say it's is stage management your favorite out of everything you've tried? Or? <laughs> Probably <laughs> no. not. No, um, it's been a it's been kind of a, a more difficult process personally than I planned it to be. So I I definitely think I'll stick to to lighting. Yeah, that's, li where, <laughs> that's where <laughs> lighting is more your thing. Do do best, yeah. Yeah, no, that makes sense. And so, what are the different tech requirements needed for the different theaters? Like considering like the black box, main stage, stuff like that. 
Um, so for uh, a main stage versus a black box, mm -hmm. this, the biggest thing is size. So mm -hmm. when you go into a black box, uh, you should expect to work with a lot less. Um, <laughs> you're going to work with a lot, uh, a lot fewer lights, um, mm -hmm. a smaller sound system, stuff like that. So I everything you're used to on a main stage size it down and that's okay. what you're going to be working with in a black box. A smaller scale main stage yes. sort of. Yeah, most definitely yeah. and um, you know audience wise you're obviously going to have a lot more audience members in a in a main stage theater than you are in right. a black box. Does it provide like more challenges doing a black box would you say? Yeah, most, yeah. Uh, yeah, most definitely. Especially in our black box. Mm -hmm. um, in our main stage we have a lot of moving lights but in our black box we have very few so right. trying to, to work with that is definitely a challenge and then just trying to contain everything but also think of the audience um not like blinding them or anything yeah but also like you just but it is nice because it's cozier like it's a lot more intimate yeah so no i like, like a, a more nice personal space yeah, yeah yeah so you can definitely work with that in your shows and and put on like a a more interactive or more personable play yeah so are most of the plays going on this season are they main stage plays yes um yeah. our Black Box is reserved for student labs and second season. So okay. our student labs are obviously all done by students, directing, mm -hmm. um, tech, all of that. Second seasons um, are run by faculty. Mm. Um, but this semester we didn't have any. Next semester we're hoping to have some student labs in there. Yeah. So the like productions you're doing now, are they a part of like a class or are they extracurricular? Like how does that work with yeah. participation? So uh, participation is uh, you there we do have classes which in which you can get credit for being on mm -hmm. uh, being a part of main stage shows you can also do it for uh, just for experience um, mm -hmm. for myself the majority of the shows that I've done have been just purely trying to get experience in the field yeah um, I think I've gotten class credit for four three or four of the shows that I've done and I've done 14 oh, you've done 14 <laughs> yeah that's incredible yeah, yeah but still so. you're getting a little bit yeah so um but yeah all most of our crew like our run crew is usually class um participation yeah no that's cool so it's like ma basically for the love of theater yeah, like yeah. that's why people are that's doing that's what I do it yeah. for yeah and so do you plan on continuing this career in theater after you graduate or what do you know what is your relationship with theater going to look like yeah. after December um, so actually in January I start a job at a theater in South Carolina oh, awesome. where I'll be their assistant lighting director um, so I'll basically be doing a lot of what I do here which is programming and uh, mm -hmm. setting up lights hanging lights yeah. um, working with light plots and stuff like that so and like in a professional in a professional manner. theater yeah. yeah with like <laughs> real yeah. with um paid actors and all that yeah so it's no. going to be a little different than what i do here yeah but and do you feel like this program has prepared you to be out in the field they definitely have helped me yeah. um i came into this program knowing very little and mm -hmm. have come out knowing a significant lot like a significant more about yeah. uh what i do yeah um i had no idea anything about lighting. I had never mm. touched lighting before and now um, I'm pretty well versed in it. Yeah. So, What's the first class that you take that introduces lighting? Is that? Um, so the first class that you can get any of that is uh, either intro to tech or intro to design. Okay. They'll both briefly go over lighting and mm. from then on you can go in and personally do stuff or you can um, you can take a lighting design class. Yeah, okay. No, that's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then that's how you found out it was lighting was your passion. Yeah, yeah. Um, I had done some lighting stuff before in a because I worked on a, a show for a class and mm -hmm. there I met our lighting professor who's unfortunately not there anymore. Yeah. Um, but through him, I discovered my love of it. Yeah. Mm. No, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm totally <laughs> glad you found your little niche in it. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely went in not pr not thinking I was gonna go into it, but I'm yeah. glad I did. Yeah. You never know where <laughs> you're gonna end up. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. awesome. So, did you not know that you were this into theater before college, or how did how did your love of theater even come about? <laughs> um. So yeah, I, I went to two different high schools. My oh. first high school, I took a, a tech class, but we mainly built sets. Uh -huh. My second high school didn't have any theater in it, so mm -hmm. um, I came into UNCW wanting to be a marine bio major. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah. Like everybody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, um, yeah. Uh, biology wasn't for me, so I yeah. went to do history, and then I accidentally took 
uh, the wrong theater class for uh -huh. a gen ed. I would, took intro to design instead of intro to theater. Yeah. Um, and there I kind of slowly got integrated into the, the program and became a major. And so it was all by accident. Yeah, but, but I'm really happy glad. Accident. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I'm really yeah. glad it happened. Yeah, it seems like this is your place. Yeah, yeah that's this awesome. is definitely my place. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you would consider this like a relatively new hobby for you, Ish? I mean, you dabbled yeah. in it in high school, but seriously more in college? Seriously, yeah. So if, uh, it's a serious thing. I've probably been doing it for two and a half, three years. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And now I work in two theaters yeah. at the moment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alex. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today. We wish you the best of luck thank with your you so upcoming much. productions <laughs> and, you know, with the rest of the showing for Fight Girl. Thank you. Um, but now we're handing it over to Remy for Wave Watch, and we'll see you later. The theater department is located in the spectacular state-of-the-art $34 million cultural arts building on campus. This extraordinary facility houses two beautiful theaters, fully equipped shops, and first-rate studio spaces for students. Whether you're involved in it or not, the UNCW theater program has a little bit of something for everyone. From performance, design, and technical standpoints, and theater studies, there are a lot of exciting things happening in the department for students and audiences alike. Now, are you ready to catch a show? The next main stage productions will start in the 2023 season. Electra will run on the main stage from February 16th through the 19th and the 23rd through the 26th. Also, A Murder of Crows premieres on April 20th through the 23rd and will run through the 27th and the 30th. Ticket prices are $6 for students and children and $15 for general admissions. Take advantage of your student discount and check out these amazing performances. Want more information or to schedule a tour of the theater facilities? You can contact the administrative associate, Susan Wilder, at 910-962-2061. We hope to see you around to catch the shows. Alex and Margo, back to you. Okay, Alex, today we're going to try a fun game that you might do to warm up before a performance. Now, this game is called The Hot Seat. So I'm going to give you the name of a celebrity for you to do an impression of. And I'll also ask you a question and you'll answer the way you think the celebrity would. You should try to stay in character until the, I say the name of the next celebrity. All right, so let's get started. The first celebrity is Dolly Parton. Dolly, why don't you tell us a little bit about Jolene and why she wanted to take your man? All right. Well, you know Jolene. She was a, a, a teller at the bank I used to go to with my husband. And, uh, you know, my husband, he's a, he's a handsome man. So, uh, of course, why wouldn't she want to take him? I mean, he is the perfect man. So, I mean, if I was Jolene, I would want to take my man too. <laughs> Precisely, Dolly. I understand. Some people would call your life and career a true rags to riches story. So, how is your life growing up? How has it become different now, being the queen of country? Well, you know, I'm uh, from Tennessee, and I'm one of twelve children, and so I grew up fairly poor. But now that uh, I, uh, I now that I have money, I, I just like to give back to the community and, and, and try to make the best of everything because that's the Dolly way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I respect that very much. So next we have Julie Andrews. Julie, you have been awarded and appreciated by so many for your perfect pitch. Now what's the secret on your vocals? <clears throat> well, you know, just warming up every day is, is really helpful. Um, I try to uh, drink uh, tea with honey because I like to be perfectly perfect in every way. <laughs> yes, yes, I understand. Being, so being a lead role in a, such a big film as, such as The Sound of Music, how has that experience shaped you as an artist and an actress? Oh, well, you know, um, I lost out on the role of uh, in My Fair Lady that I started in Broadway, I mean, West, the West End, um, but uh, I was so thankful to get the opportunity to play Maria, and um, it has obviously set my career off in a way I never could have imagined, and I'm so thankful for that every day. <laughs> Congratulations. Now, next we have Emma Watson. 
So in 1999, when you auditioned for Harry Potter, take us back to what your thought process was at the time. Well, you know, I was so young at the time, um, and I was just a child, and I had no idea that I was going to, to that this role would lead me to where I am, and I'm so thankful, and Harry Potter has been such a, a, a such a good thing in my life, and I'm so thankful for it. It's great. Well, I can safely say Hermione, Hermione Granger is super iconic. Thank you. <laughs> so now you got to tell us which movie was your favorite to film and why? Well, you know, Harry Potter will always have a place in my heart, but um, <coughs> some films like Beauty and the Beast or Perks of Being a Wallflower have always been a fun time. Yes. All right, and th that's all we got. Thank you so much for participating in this impression game. We appreciate it. This has been so much fun. Thank now, so Remy, much. back to you. Thank you all for joining us today. We appreciate Alex coming in and sharing some of his insider knowledge of the theater department. Be sure to support your Seahawks and go to the theater department's productions. Remember, all the world's a stage, and all men and women are merely players. See you all back here next week. Have a teal-tastic day. Thank you.